Welcome back to It Is What It Is. I'm Treasure Wilson, AKA Stat Baby, along with your host, Camp and Mace. Murder, what, what up, boy? What's, What's up? shaking, man? Chilling. We low-key coordinated. We got the white, the creams. It looks good. I like it. I like it. Okay. okay. <laughs> so let's get started. Dwight Howard is allegedly being sued for sexual assault and battery. A man leaked alleged text messages between the two and found out that Howard was sleeping with a transgender woman. He then claimed that he was threatened by Howard and his pastor online. He also said Howard wanted him to sign an NDA and accept hush money. What are your thoughts on this situation? Um, it's, a, it's a lot to, uh, it's just a <laughs> lot to address. So, cause you just gave me no information. I knew about the situation, but the he, the pastor, it was harassing yeah. him? Yeah. What did the pastor do? See, it doesn't say what the pastor said, but it says that he was being harassed by Howard and his pastor online. So maybe text messages or something, maybe telling him not to say nothing, but I don't know what where kind the pastor of, came. Secondly, what kind of assault? Verbal? I, I guess so, because all it, all that was leaked were the text messages, so I don't know. What so you don't know if there was a fight. Them. Could you do me a favor, Stat, while me and Mace hmm. discuss this topic? Could you pull up the text messages, please, uh -huh. while we do this? Now, this, this is ugly. This is a full pause murder. I'm telling you now. I'm just, don't. This is full pause. Pause <laughs> recession. Yeah. Press play. Pause. Yeah. Dwight Howard called me about. <laughs> four days before this information came out. And he said he wanted to come on the show. Yeah. And I was like, cool, ain't no problem. You know, you know, when he was over there in China, he was saying he was a fan of the show. And I'm like, cool. So I'm like, yo. He was calling you from China? Cause we was, I was trying to get him on the Zoom. I was oh. like, yo, why are you not in the NBA? Don't try to act like he just hit me up from China, <laughs> nigga. Don't act like, don't act like, don't act like he just randomly me. <laughs> I was trying to get the nigga on the show. On the okay, Zoom, okay. To see why okay. he wasn't on the motherfucking, uh, in the NBA. So I know it's, we're not going to get him on the show now because it's just too much going on because, but what I will say is this, um, I'd rather you go first, to be honest. No, I'm, I'm, I'm lost, because you said um, you was reaching out to him, or he reached out to you. How no, did it go? So basically, to be all jokes aside, I reached out to him maybe when the season started. And he, By text? On the DM. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so you and Dwight got, got turned. <laughs> I know, but I'm just asking yeah. the question. It just sounds funny because you we're the main one kept saying, well, I don't understand why you're not in the NBA. <laughs> why, why, no, why the Lakers but don't pick him up? Him, I didn't text him. I did because you kept asking <laughs> why you're not in the NBA. So I said, I'm going to reach out because Murder wants to know why he's not in America. So you know, for the record, Cam is the one. I need my gaffle, yo. Yeah. I need my gaffle. Yeah. Yeah. All the beds are yeah. off now. Yeah. All the beds got to be off. Yeah, okay, listen. go ahead, go ahead. I go was ahead, trying to get ahead. him on the show <laughs> because you said you was concerned about him not being in the NBA. So I reached out to the dude. Yeah. More of the story is... The oh. more of the story is oh. he, he wanted to come on the show, but then all this shit came out. And, <laughs> and then for full disclosure... Not disclosure. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga cheesy play game. Listen, man, I don't run the is what it is social media account. A lot of yeah. people think that I run this is what it is social media account. So when I see my man Bob post on the is what it is social media account, the whole text thread, I said, Dwight ain't never coming on the show. <laughs> Cause, um, so Bob was texting him. No, no, no. I'm gonna keep it. I'm not. I'm Bob not was no, Bob <laughs> exposed his text messages. Bob is our social media guy. Bob exposed his text message. I, yeah. I officially I reached out to Dwight Howard on behalf of Mason Bethel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to know why he wasn't on the show. Period. Period. And um, he was willing to come up here. And now um, after Bub posted it, I wish, could we go to what Bub said in the caption real quick yeah. on um, on yeah. um, It Is What It Is page just real quickly? Yeah. Let's read the caption. 
Because I didn't write this caption, man. Right. A lot of people think I'm controlling the pace. What's the caption right. exactly say? The, the caption says, Ayo, whoa, pause. Dwight Howard, this news is very disturbing. You on some weird, for real. Hashtag it is what it is. Talk, nobody say, we say what the F we want. So he said you want some weird shit for real. <laughs> yeah. I didn't write that. <laughs> Our social media guy handled that. But if you don't mind that, yes. just for the people who haven't seen the thread, could you read the yes. thread for our audience? So if you haven't seen the text messages, make sure you go also follow It Is What It Is Talk on Instagram. But what it said Wait, is... wait, wait. And if you're under 18, earmuffs. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna skip to the second part of the conversation because that's really what it is. Basically, Dwight said, I want more. The person who was texting Dwight said, I got you, Poppy. Also, what are you into? You like freaky stuff. Yes, I'm into freaky stuff. Now, I want you to know, I'm not like gay or anything. I'm just a little nasty sometimes. <laughs> I don't want to offend you. Loved a movie, loved an image, loved an image, loved an image, loved a movie. The person said, yes, and I understand sexy, we grown. I'm not offended at all. Then it's the slobber emoji, let me see, eggplant emoji. Um, it continues with a lot more emojis, and Dwight is having a time. He said, you have some blank shots, lol. First said, I don't, I can make you some personal ones though. And then Dwight said, I just want to see your eggplant. <laughs> this the niggas you want to be reaching out to. This the, this the niggas this the, you got me talking about why he ain't in the league. Now, secondly, the, then look, back to business. Dwight Howard, before this, I tried to let him slide because, you know, Dwight Wright's cool and all that, but he was out the NBA. Mm -hmm. for a year and a half talking about he had a butt injury. <laughs> pause. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I pause. Remember. So I just like to know exactly what's going on. And I think, look, it's 2023 if that's what you're into. Just say that's what yeah. you're yeah. into. That's on, you know, it's none. Just, I think it's more offensive when you hide it, my opinion. I think it's way more offensive when you acting like you don't like women. Not, I'm not talking about do I have talking about anybody, period. Just say what you are because it becomes confusing if you really are gay and then you're acting like you're not gay, but you're around heterosexual people, it's just confusing. It's 2023, if you're gay, just say you're gay so everybody knows where everybody stands at. That's you think that's thing. why he didn't get on the team? Listen, man, we, a lot of, listen, you go in that locker room and you gotta get dressed every day. <laughs> a lot of people may not be comfortable. Let me ask you this question, yeah. pause. If you see, if you read these text messages and Dwight Howard's on your team after this, mm -hmm. and you gotta go on the road and everything else, when it's time to get dressed for the game and everything else, and after the game, how are you feeling if somebody like that in your locker room? Just your opinion. I mean, personally, if if that's what he's into, then I don't even want to say it because we're on the air, but really, he he probably need his own space, you know? Yeah. I you like that. I, think, I respect his space, he respect my space. I like that answer. I like that answer. I think that's the appropriate answer, and I think mm -hmm. that's the fair answer. But it's kind of like, and I hate saying shit like this because I ain't got no problem with yeah. like Odell Beckham Jr., you know, we seen him in Phoenix, we fuck mm -hmm. with him. But it's what, a, what Odell got to do with it? It's a video of Eldell Beckham Jr. on the field looking nigga ass and said, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, forget it. <laughs> you think I'm... <laughs> and no bounce, no problem. <laughs> you know what? Oh, down, oh, down. You never seen it? No, I don't want to see it. <laughs> Yo, you seen it, bro? <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't make that up. He like, they, the game was over as a nigga from other team and he both pounds, he said, mm. <laughs> So I just believe like, you should let people know cause niggas out there playing ball with niggas, niggas tackling niggas yeah. with tights on. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just respecting nobody. Yeah. You ain't yeah. seen, time out. And I like to have no problem with Odell. You ain't yeah. seen the picture of Odell getting two, the tattoo on his ass? <laughs> Forget it. I'm not pausing it because that's what he's doing. I'm saying pause for pause for me. But it's a whole. Did you see that? 
No, I'm pulling this shit up here. I feel like I'm making shit up. Yeah, I believe you. Yeah. Like, Where's all this coming from? Oh, time out. Time out. That's what you do. I'm pulling up Odell <laughs> on the field. And you yeah. pull up Odell tattoo okay. on the ass. Because yeah. murder sitting here making, he making the scene. He got the video. He got the video. What's, what's that? Well, Odell said, Bob, bring him, brother. You come on. You come on. Look, here. This is, I don't want to show it, but look, you give him a five, then look. Yo, Odell is look at that. They slow it down. And look, you like. See, this is like, this is a loop. You got to see it when it's not the loop. <laughs> that man looked down and said, woo. <laughs> so, and this is the picture. Woo. Look, this is the picture I'm talking about, murder. Oh. I'm not, you think I'm just make throwing things out there and, sh and shout those down. You think people just do it to be famous? Oh, that is really what they're doing. Let me ask you this. And I'm not saying famous or not famous. I know me, me may be a little older. Ain't they? Me personally, I'm not getting a tattoo on my ass by no nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Yeah, want, back in the day, they said if a girl got a tattoo on her lower back or anything like that. Tramp stamp shit like that. Yeah, no, this is on a nigga ass. So no, what, what, is, what is it? What is this a nigga? That's Listen, super man, foul. I don't have no problem with anybody. Just say what you are. That's what I say. That's just my opinion. I don't care. Look, I could be like, yo, man, what you doing today? I'm going to eat some pussy. You're going to suck a dick? Pause. I'll see you later, dick. <laughs> that's, like, that's your business. <laughs> you can't. You're not going to dap them. I mean, look, man. I, my cousin gay. <laughs> I got gay people in my family. I'm not homophobic. Yeah. Look, I, people say, oh, y'all say poor y'all homophobic. I got gay relatives. I ain't got no problem. I just like to know where you stand. Yeah. So I know how to carry myself. And yeah. same thing vice versa. Yeah. Period.